Look, you little bugger, too. Toast. What you doing, Toast? There's a way it looks. You can tell it because he's got a big old head. Welcome to the channel. Excuse the wind. It's always windy here. If you haven't figured that out yet by watching my videos, you will. And today, we're going to do some relocating of some garden tubs. We're going to get all this organized. Obviously, I've got a few that'll have to remain out here, like my sage. I've got oh, some other herbs and stuff coming up that were from last year. Look at that cilantro go nuts. Mm-hmm. Or no, 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 that's oregano. Yep. Oh boy, does that smell good. But let me show y'all what I did yesterday. I was busy. Went and got another load of gravel. Got it all brought in here. There's gonna be at least another one or two loads brought in. But I can't do that today, it's Sunday. But I took these blocks. This section here is going to be my herbs and peppers because it's not going to be covered. Now I did order a 20 by 20 shade cloth, which will probably span from up there maybe out to here. And I do got plans to put pots out here as well. I want gravel down before I put the pots down because uh, this is muddy clay. And these little blocks i'll fill with dirt we'll plant herbs in them as well so that's going to be quite a bit and then we got a whiny waldo we always have a whiny waldo doing lots of whining yeah there he goes yeah it's a little crooked it don't matter man it will matter because it'll drive me nuts i'll have to straighten that out so not only did i do that but what don't you notice that's what I mean, don't you notice? A big pile of lumber sitting here. It's all gone. This is all cleaned up. Yeah. Libby can see the puppies now. Also cleaned up that pile of uh, treated two by fours. Actually, I didn't clean them up. I stuck them up there. Because they're probably going to be used for the railing. So, tomatoes will be out here and along here what i'm going to do is i'm going to start getting these pots i'm going to empty some of them out and bring them over here i'm only bringing these tan ones over just the tan ones there's enough of them because that'll look good it'll match the house and any other colored ones we may put up here i'm going to probably come all the way out to here but i want gravel so i can just lay a pot of gravel down level it i want them all level uh, the drainage issues and stuff, I'm not going to worry about that. We're going to get some guttering hung up there. That will solve that. Uh, I have had a garden here two years. Uh, for two years, uh, let's see, not last year, not the year before, but the past previous years, it's always done pretty good. Uh, this gets plenty of sun, but putting it here, I, I got my spigot, and it's close by, and... Uh, It'll, it's going to be nice. Damn, I can sit up there and get the smell of the miters and herbs blasting up. Oh, yeah. All right, man. You know I, I can't sit here and yap at you guys all day. I got to get to work. Let's get a show, the griller cart, and get going. Yeah. Me and this shovel have developed quite a friendship. It's a love hate friendship. It loves me to use it, and I hate to use it. If I see any lines, this is uh, going to be time consuming. That's why 
why I'm starting early. Too heavy to move. With doit in it. You can't move it with doit. I'm not going to get it all out. Well, there's still some wood in there from last year. I'm just taking enough out to move it. And I can shimmy it over. Gonna mix a little of last year's manure in with it. That ought to be good. No longer hot. Looking good. dogging she said she wants to learn how to garden so whoever wants oreo is gonna get somebody with gardening skills she's sleepy miss oreo well she's only half frog dogging one leg's tucked in you know Alright, I got seven of them over here now. Now there's not much space in between these, just enough to get in here. I'm getting smaller, I'm not getting bigger, so that's no problem. By the way, we hit the 50s today. I was 258 this morning, so that's almost 40 pounds I've lost. So we gotta go another 40 at least. Yeah, I said originally 100 pounds, but 
I would not look good at 180, let me tell you. I'm too tall for that. I've been to one, uh, like 187. When I lived in Kentucky, I looked sick. So let's get down to 200 if we can and see what it looks like. But I can tell you, this is a lot easier than it was last year. Like I said, over here is gonna be my bell peppers, uh, maybe some jalapenos. Uh, we'll plant some dill, some herbs in these uh, blocks. Dill would be fine, some things like that. Uh, I don't know. We'll see what I can come up with. I may plant some seeds in some of them. Uh, I forgot that there was cabbage in them first six, but I could only find one. And that's what I you see me planting over here. That's looking good, so that's going to be cabbage. I forgot about them. Uh, so I'm going to get these in here. Here we got one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more of these tan ones. So it's going to come out to here. And then, you know, it don't matter if I bring some colors in here. As long as they're together, I think that would look better. So these go with the house. You know me, things got to match. I've got to get their air conditioner in here either today or tomorrow. This is going to be 85 degrees Tuesday. I am not ready for 85 degrees yet. If it's going to do that again this year, I'm not going to be loving life. Alright, let me get back to work on this. And, uh... Let's see. Harga booga! Well, I'm kind of just taking this level, putting my finger on the edge of this to the edge of this going to get them all the same distance I don't like them to be a lot of difference there we go and then I step back and make sure they're straight with the others and it needs to come this way alright and even when they're full I can move them very easy on this gravel I don't know what I do next. Ain't no reason to film it. Know what I mean, Byron? Alright, there's one, two, three more of the tan ones. Then I'm going to grab the red ones. Just, just the ones this size. And that would be one, two, three. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, the tomatoes are going to start about right here. Uh, about even with this where I can put that shade cloth on there uh, and I'm also gonna uh, put some posts in here so I have something to attach it to that way if it's not too super hot I can peel that thing off and they don't, they don't need it and you can see it's about 11:30 maybe in the morning the sun is straight up over me of course that will move that way in the summer so but mainly down here, probably two or three pots of bell peppers, maybe a couple different varieties. Now last year I planted three plants in each of these pot in one pot. They did really well. So I'm either going to do that or maybe increase it to four per tub. So just because you see a tub, that, that doesn't represent one plant. And I put multiple, other than tomatoes, that tomatoes go in, you know, by themselves, but jalapenos, pepper, any kind of peppers, you can put two or three. Alright guys, let's try this clip again. If you only knew how difficult it was to film a video here with that lady's dogs, about her 30 dogs running around and my dogs going nuts. Unbelievable. But what I was saying before the GoPro battery rudely went dead, peppers will be down there. Now last year I put three peppers per pot. They did it they did excellent they were healthy so i think i'm going to stick with that and probably just plant oh maybe six of these with bell peppers and possibly some i didn't grow any jalapenos last year so i'm going to grow some of them if i have any seeds if, or if not i'll buy some starts and then my tomatoes i think i'll start about here that way that shade cloth will come across it and i'm going to put in some posts here that I can attach it to. I don't know if I want to put wooden posts 
the reason I got those wooden posts is I wanted to fence all this in, but now I got the dog kennel in the way of what my plan was. So I can't do that right now. So I may just um, drive some T-posts in. And that way I have something to attach that shade cloth to. Because as windy as it gets here, it needs to be secured good. But usually during the winter or summer, the wind, we don't really get any wind then. It's just still and miserably hot. And so this year I'm getting the shade cloth because my tomatoes bombed last year. I spent a lot of money on that garden last year and I can't remember very many times I had tomatoes. Uh, I'm already $300 into this garden. I haven't even planted anything yet with the gravel and I'm not done with the gravel. I'm bringing that gravel out another, probably two more truckloads uh, will do it. That'll level all this out back here. Alright, so I've got three more, one more, or two more, of these, three more of these, this color. Then I'm going to bring the red ones out. And I am going to put them, I'm going to have a row of three here for my tomatoes. So, but I don't want to do that until I get the gravel. So I'm just going to place two, so when I get more gravel, because this is a nice, pretty good level spot. So I'm going to extend the gravel out to here, and uh, then, I, then I have rows of three. I'm not going to put anything in here because that French drain is here. Wouldn't matter. It's not going to, if, even if I set things on top. But I need room. You know, I'm going to have to repair some of this screen and I've got to do the guttering. I've got to paint. So I need room for the ladders and to do what, to finish this up and uh, get their air conditioner in, whatever. So, all right, well, let me get the last of them in. I'll be back, okay? Yeah. Right, if you guys are interested in growing in these containers, uh, you can pick these up at your local feed stores. If you live in the city, you may have to travel to a smaller town that has a feed store. These are cattle lick tubs. They put the nutrients, set them out on the pasture for the cattle. and. I think last year I paid ten dollars, which is high, but you know everything's high now. But this particular one I've had probably eight, nine years, and I just discovered an issue. You can see this greenish algae looking stuff. And the reason that's in there is because I didn't have big enough holes drilled. I just got these little tiny holes. So I'm going to drill some bigger holes in this. Uh, I've got some up here with the dirt level, but these just aren't big enough, and so the moisture wasn't draining out, and that's what formed this stuff. I'm going to scrape this out and drill some bigger holes. I remember what I had planted in this last year, and it just didn't ever produce. Now I know why. All these other ones got big enough holes in them. Ah, put one in my soil. Yeah, let me show you. It's like a greenish algae. You don't want that in there. Alright, and then all you do. This is the same drill bit I cut the perforated pipe with, or drilled the holes in it. I'm just going to go right where those old holes were, and then I'm going to add a few more. in this one. Man, I had to dump it all out. I wasn't about to pick that up. And I never put them on the bottom because I don't want the water seeping back in. Now it's Swiss cheeses. Alright. Where we at? Oh, you guys are in the way where I'm going to put the pot. You're terrible about that. You're always up in my business. Alright. 
we got one more of these to get and then it'll be about done because there's no sense in bringing these over until I get the uh, gravel in here tomorrow tomorrow's gonna be a big day I'm gonna try to get that air conditioner in some of these other issues take a look at some guttering I think that's about 15 feet and probably just gonna run a downspout right there because that's the French drain and it'll go on out that way or I may collect it in the barrels I don't currently have any but I'll have to pick some up all right let me get these last two in we'll probably call it a day all right also also should mention you should need you need to put some rocks or, or some big chunks of wood or something in the bottom uh, I just got some rocks out of that pile there uh, that way it helps with the drainage if you just put solid dirt it's gonna have a hard time getting down there actually I should put a little more in but that's fine you know as long as it's to the level a little bit above the drain hole that'll be great it's a beautiful day but they don't last forever but this is a good day to be out here doing the gardening now, let me get this dirt in here and then we'll go get that other one look man i'm over here trying to work you guys are over here crying you need to be watching what i'm doing so you know how to garden yeah you're lulu no you're willie you're the boy that's mr willie you're not supposed to be whining there's lucy she's solid black except for underneath her chin there's Miss Dirty Nose. Where's Toast? Look what you guys did to that towel on there. It's all tore up. Yeah. Gonna get you guys wormed. To, uh, get some wormer tomorrow. Worm you guys. Your first worming. Then I'm gonna give you your first round of parvo shots. Yeah. You ain't gonna like them, but you won't feel it. I'm pretty good at it. All right. I guess Toast is taking a nap. All right, that's gonna wrap it up. We were able to eliminate almost this one whole row. Uh, I'll get those out later. I'm out of steam. <laughs> Yesterday, I worked nine hours out here getting all that cleaned up and getting this gravel set. So, I don't have a lot of energy today, but hell, that was, got 13 of those moved over there. That one there, has cracks in the bottom i don't know if i'm going to use it or not uh it's all broken up on the bottom so which you can still use none of these have bottoms but what i have to do is put weed mat down on the bottom uh, it's not real bad it should still be okay but uh see there's a root coming up out of there so that has to go down that shouldn't happen over here here I have to promote somebody you'll see what I mean here in a minute now when I had Wally I didn't have a channel when I had Wally but the, you, there's the videos of him on here uh, he was the superintendent of chickens and then since he's passed away we have a successor Miss Millie I hereby dub the superintendent of the chickens it is here, here on out, your duty to protect the chickens. Do you accept this challenge? Well, I've seen you bat an eyeball, so I guess you do. Okay. There we have it. We got a new superintendent of chickens. I thought the church was all emptied out. Now they're still pouring out of there. Uh, they're probably looking at me going, Look at that evil man working on Sunday. But if you enjoy it, is it work? That's what I say. Oh, oh, now he is the inventor of the frog dog. He is the only frog dogger here. You were frog dogging, weren't you, boy? This thing needs to get gone. I'm sick of looking at it tear it down work in here get this drainage issue 
Yeah, here's the rocks I had in that thing. I went to pick that dude up. I'm like, uh-uh. So it's now part of this pile. Yep. Let's go see what the other dogs are doing. I'll be right back and then we'll... Then you guys can go eat. That's what I'm going to do. I'm making hamburger and brown gravy but no bun. Hamburger steaks. It's going to be good. Miss Rooster, are you in the shade? Where's your biscuit? Oh, it's out there in the sun. You don't want your biscuit, it's too warm. Your fur's looking mighty, mighty ragged. Do I have to put the purple and stick on you? Brush you down? And there's Miss Lily. She always likes it out in the sun. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Happy trails.